Hey there, my name is Hugh, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Naked Markets backtesting software. This is by far the best backtesting software I have come across in the market, and I'm talking about manual backtesting software. However, uh, even though this is primarily a manual backtesting uh, software package, you can also turn it into an automated one, so that's fantastic. If you want to read my initial review about the software, you can get that in the description below. I also have a discount for the software if you're interested, and that is also in the description below. But in this video, I'm just going to go through the basic setups of what you need to do to do your first back test. All right, let's get into it. All right, so this is Naked Markets. If you don't have it yet, you can try it out for free. Simply click on the Try It button on their website. Uh, if you like it, you can buy it by clicking the buy button here. If you want to get a discount, you can just Google Naked Markets coupon or discount coupon. And uh, this link will take you to the coupon and you can get my current link that will give you a discount on Naked Markets. All right, so once you have it installed, it's gonna ask you for the activation key. You'll get the activation key via email. Um, if you have any questions, you, the best place to ask them is to go to their wiki, or not the wiki, but the uh, forum. So on their website, go to the forum and you get the uh, forum. And as you can see, it's pretty active. You can request some features. You can ask some general questions. You can report some bugs and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. And they've been very responsive with answering. So I would highly recommend doing that as the uh, first thing to do if you have any questions or if you have any issues. Uh, so once you get into there, I'll, I'll provide the link to the forum in the description below. Uh, so once you install the program and then you uh, put in the activation code, Naked Markets will look like this. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Tools and Data Center because you want to download the current data so you can backtest with the most recent data. So just select the market that you want to uh, download. You can download multiple markets like this or you can just download single markets within them like that. And then you can choose the broker that you want to download from. Uh, they have a great selection of brokers and this data is all free and it's updated regularly. So that's a fantastic uh, reason to get naked markets because otherwise you would have to pay with other software packages. So once you've clicked uh, one of the, mar the markets that you want to download, you can hit update and then update and then it'll start retrieving the data. It'll unpack it and it'll put it into the software. All right, so once that's done, you go to cancel. Uh, just a note here, you can also check the time frames that you want to use. If you want to add a custom time frame, you can set that up here and that will give you charts in that custom time frame. Uh, you can download uh, the news and this is good for news back testing. You can just hit update here and that'll update the news events that happen during particular times and you can see if those news events have an effect on the markets and if you can build trading strategies around them and finally they have a data import function this is what i've been waiting for for quite a while and this allows you to import data from a file so simply click this button here so if you purchase data from a third party uh, data vendor or you have data from another software that you like better uh, maybe a forex tester or something like that and there's a market that they have that naked markets doesn't have then you can just import it here. Uh, once you have imported it, go to uh, click the import button on the bottom and that will import the data. Okay, so once you have the data updated, now it's time to backtest. So set up your first backtest, go to new, file, new backtest, and backtest name. I usually like to uh, start it off with the name of the system. So let's say you had a RSI divergence system and then the currency pair that you're going to be back testing. So let's see, let's say GBP USD. Um, and then I like to put a version and a test number. So version one, test one. And this puts everything in alphabetical order once you uh, go back and want to open up the back tests. So that's a good way to name it and a good convention to use. Then you can change the initial deposit. Initial deposit is 100,000. Um, I like to start with 10,000, but whatever you want is fine. Then go to next and then select the uh, the market that you want to back test. So in this case, we selected or I selected Euro US or uh, pound dollar. So I'm going to put that there. You can select the starting date here and then go to next. You can keep all of this as a default. The only thing you might want to change is the forward test only. So if you check forward test only, the chart will only move forward and you cannot move it back. And this prevents you from going forward and then moving back. And uh, that can be useful in certain cases, but um, 
I don't use that usually. So I'm going to leave that unchecked uh, and then go finish. And then the chart will open. So you want to maximize the chart here. And then uh, you can move it forward a little bit. So I've changed the hotkeys on the keyboard and I um, I changed the keys so that it's easier to use the software with my left hand because my right, right hand is using the mouse. So in order to change the uh, keyboard settings, you go to options and then settings. And as you can see here, I changed um, step back to A, step forward is D, and um, pause and resume is S. So there are three keys that are very close to each other. And then you can change a bunch of other stuff here depending on what you like to use. Um, I would recommend just using single keys instead of this control key thing because that's kind of clunky. So all the keys around A, S, and D are the ones that I use uh, for backtesting. To change any of these keys, simply double click on the one that you want to change. It'll change to enter the key. Then on your keyboard, simply hit the key that you want to use for that function. So let's say for zoom in, I'm going to use uh, P. I'm going to hit P on my keyboard, and that's going to set that as a P. If I like that, then I can just hit apply, and that's it. And the chart is going to open with no data, so you just want to move the chart forward a little bit, and then select the time frame you want to use. So I'm going to use daily here. Um, you can select the steps. So if you're back testing on the daily, but you want the candle to move forward one uh, one hour period at a time, you just select H1 there, and then when you move forward it'll be more realistic because the candle will go up and down. So that's a very useful thing to use. And then from here, you want to add any indicators that you're using. So right click on the chart, add indicator. And as you can see, they have a wide range of indicators that you can use. And if you don't see the indicator that you want to use in the list, then simply go over to the forum and request that they add it. And they seem to be pretty good about adding custom indicators. As you can see, Ravi, FX Fisher isn't a standard one that's on most platforms. So that's something that they added. Um, and they've added a couple more in here that I noticed that aren't the standard uh, indicators. So if you have something that you like to use and you want to backtest, let them know. And they, they're pretty flexible about it. And if they can add it, they will add it. So for this example, I'm just going to use a simple moving average. Um, let's do like a 20 EMA, which is pretty popular, right? Okay hit apply and that's going to show up there. So I'm just going to scroll forward or not scroll forward, but I'll push play and the chart will move forward. Now, don't worry about the rules here on the side. Uh, that's for later. That's more advanced stuff, but I'm just getting you set up with the simple settings. So now if you want to take a trade, simply right click on the chart. Uh, let's say that we want to sell here. So we'll do a sell order and you can do the standard sell order. You can do either percent risk or you can do a number of lots. Uh, these are similar to MetaTrader lots, so you can just keep that in mind. Uh, then you can set the stop loss take profit. So let's say that we want to go short here. I'm going to put the stop loss above here. So you can simply click on that eyedropper, move that onto the chart. And then let's say you want a take profit that's right there. And then you can have uh, the pip setting. So you can set the take profit and uh, stop loss by pips. Uh, once you have everything set up, you got to sell there, hit sell and your trade will appear on the open positions tab on the bottom and you can see the growth. And the nice thing about the naked markets is that they have MAE and MFE. So um, MAE is maximum adverse excursion. So how much did the trade go against you while the trade was open? And the opposite is maximum favorable excursion. How far did the um, trade go in your favor before it was closed out? So we're gonna move this forward. And as you can see, we got stopped out right away. So those are the basics of setting up your backtest. Obviously, if you want to put in like a Fibonacci or you want to put in some uh, trend lines and stuff like that, or a vertical line or horizontal line, maybe something like that, you can add those in. So pretty standard stuff that you would see on most trading platforms. Now, when you're done with a backtest, uh, the great thing about Naked Markets is it has a full uh, analysis suite. So you can go to uh, statistics and then stat center, and it'll pull up the stat center. And what you need to do is you need to uh, first save this, save the back test, right? So RSI divergence, pound US dollar, save, and then go to statistics, stat center. And now you want to open up this back test. So you go to source, um, 
import from backtest. And then we've got our side divergence here. Open that up. Then you can see the stats on your backtesting. And they have a lot of stats here. And this is more than I've seen on any other software. So take some time to go through the stats, see what they're telling you, um, understand what it's saying. And that will allow you to see how good your trading strategy is. Now, the nice thing in Naked Markets is that they have a Monte Carlo simulation. So what this does is it basically takes all of the trades that you have in your round of backtesting and it puts it in a different order. So that will allow you to see how much of a drawdown you could possibly have. What's the worst scenario? What's the average outcome? And it'll just put it in random order. And that will allow you to get a better idea of what your trading strategy might really look like in live trading. So you can use number of simulations here. I would put it up at least 100 is good. Uh, and then click on the launch button. And since I only have one trade, it's not really going to do much. But you can see the average drawdown and the worst drawdown. And those are the two important numbers that you want to look at because that will show you what's the worst case scenario and what's the average scenario. And if you can live with the average scenario and the worst drawdown is not that bad, then you might have a pretty good system on your hands. Yeah, I think that that is everything you need to get started. If you want to speed up the process, uh, let's put this on daily. So this is a daily chart and we're moving one daily candle at a time. So that'll move it uh, quicker. Uh, if you want to slow it down, you have this speed button here. So just move it back one or two ticks and it'll uh, slow down the speed accordingly. And the uh, speed is really good because the uh, the bar is small. And every time you move it one tick, it really makes a difference. Whereas with other platforms, <laughs> it does this weird thing where it's really slow for like 90% of the bar. And then if you move it over one tick, then it goes really fast. So the speed on this is really good and it's really useful. Uh, unlike other backtesting platforms. All right, a couple more things you might find useful. Um, you can zoom in and out here, obviously. And then if you want to restart the backtest, go to File, Restart Backtest, and it will restart the backtest with the same settings uh, and the same indicators, but you'll just start at the beginning again. And this is useful if you mess something up or you weren't following the rules during part of the backtest, and you can just start it all over. It's no big deal. All right, so that's everything you need to know to get started on your first manual backtest with Naked Markets. Um, in future videos, I'm going to be showing you how to do some automation, how to do some tips and tricks with Naked Markets, and I'll also show you how to backtest particular uh, trading strategies. So if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to get more videos like this. And check out the Naked Markets tutorials playlist on my channel. And that's where all of these Naked Markets tutorials will be. Thanks for watching.